Now we've learned in a previous video that boiling point is related to the strength of the intermolecular force. And the stronger the intermolecular force, the higher the boiling point. So if a molecule has a strong intermolecular force, it's likely to be a liquid rather than a gas at room temperature. So nonpolar molecules, they don't exhibit dipole forces or hydrogen bonding. Because remember, dipole forces and hydrogen bonding are only seen in polar molecules. But why is it sometimes that nonpolar molecules can still exist as a liquid? So what I'm, what I'm getting at here is if there's, if there's not really a strong intermolecular force existing between these nonpolar molecules, how come still sometimes these molecules come together um, and are attracted to one another and make a liquid? Well, the reason being is because of something called London dispersion forces, or sometimes called instantaneous dipole slash induced dipole. A London dispersion force is a small and transient attractive force between two molecules as the result of a temporary unequal electron distribution. Boy, there was a whole lot there, but let's try to break that down. Let's look at a molecule of chlorine. Now you know that chlorine is nonpolar. It's very nonpolar. So that means that these two electrons here, they're shared equally between the two chlorines. But notice it says a small and transient attractive force between molecules. So for just a moment, there's going to be a small force that crops up. And that's going to result from the temporary unequal sharing of electrons. So these are two shared electrons. And just for a moment, they're going to be shared unequally. So it looks like, just for a moment, this shared electron pair got closer to this chlorine atom. If the electron moved closer to this chlorine atom, it got a partially negative charge, leaving the other chlorine atom partially positive. So we're getting this. This is a pair of shared electrons. And just for a moment, the negatively charged electrons are closer to this chlorine, making it partially negative. They're further away from this chlorine, making it partially positive. Now, this is an instantaneous um, transient or temporary dipole. And what that does is that induces polarity in this other molecule. So if this chlorine is partially positive, that would attract the negative electrons in this bond, and it would draw them over to this chlorine, making this chlorine partially negative and of course, leaving this one partially positive. So now, just for a moment, we have one chlorine that's positive, and we have one chlorine that's negative. And we already know that opposites attract. So this is an intermolecular force right here, an attraction between molecules. And it's known as a London dispersion force. Now, London dispersion forces are exhibited by all molecules. But nonpolar molecules, that's the only type of intermolecular force that they have. Let me say that one more time. Every molecule, whether it's polar or not, has London dispersion forces. However, nonpolar molecules, the only kind of intermolecular force they can have is London dispersion forces.